Roaring job numbers. Not so roaring kitty. What can I say? This economy is creating jobs like there's no tomorrow. You think we've already had multiple rate cuts rather than none. And yet investors seem to think that the labor report didn't matter all that much, even as higher rates <laughs> were right on its heels. I mean, the job growth almost seemed more reassuring than worrisome, which is why I think the average is barely got thing. Dow slipping 87 points, S&P edging down 0.11%, NASDAQ declining 0.23%. Look, this one could have been a disaster, people, uh, given how interest rates flew up on the news. It wasn't. Oh, and as for Roaring Kitty, uh, you could tell that Wall Street turned up its nose in disdain. You knew they would do that. Yeah, Wall Street wanted some sort of real show. If you watch it, all I can say, sightseers, is got what you pay for. So what's on top for next week? Well, let's just go over here. Take a look. All right, look at this. Look at this Monday. It's an unbelievable day. It was supposed to be like a middle June. Nothing's supposed to be happening. Uh Uh-uh. No sleepy Monday here. We have three important events for three of the biggest companies on Earth, and that's Apple, NVIDIA, and Lilly. Apple kicks off its annual Worldwide Developers Conference, and while it's rarely newsworthy, this time could be different because we might get some insight into what's going on for both the Vision Pro and the iPhone 16. Our goal is to figure out how many people are writing important programs for Apple products. I know it's a tad pedestrian for us consumers, which is why the conference rarely causes stocks to run. But because we keep hearing that Apple's behind on AI, maybe they show us something that shoots down that negative narrative. As for the Vision Pro, we need to see if developers are trying to do anything special with it. Otherwise, people will give up on the idea that it's anything more than a niche product. I think Vision Pro can still be used, especially when it comes to building complex structures, designing pretty much anything. My mantra has not changed. Own Apple. Don't trade it. As for NVIDIA, we're getting the 10 for 1 split. Yeah, my experience is when you get a 10 for 1, by the way, you tend to take, uh, people tend to take profits on a couple of them and let the rest run. So uh, that's enough profit taking temporarily to overwhelm the buyers. So don't be down if NVIDIA gets hit on Monday after the split. It's just the psychology of the event. I'll keep seven, I'll sell three. Own it, don't trade it. All right, now how about Eli Lilly? Very confusing story here. An FDA advisory panel will consider its Alzheimer's drug on Monday. I bet they'll be favorably disposed. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.